Hello! In this video, I'm going to deploy a Django application that uses a Postgres database, and I'm going to deploy it using the Azure Developer CLI, also known as AZD. And I've already got it checked out in code spaces, so it should just be one command to get it up. Let's give it a go! Here we are in code spaces where I'm going to run AZD up to deploy this Django Postgres app. So I start off with some deployment configuration with a little environment name that becomes the prefix for all of the resources created. So I just come up with a name I'll remember. Then I select the subscription. I only have one, so that's easy. Then I select a location and I want to pick one that's fairly close to me, central US. And now it's checking out the bicep files to make sure that it can parse them all correctly and understand what's in them and there's no issues with that. Those should all be good to go because I already wrote them. And now it can actually make the resources. This is the part that does take a lot of time. So I sped this up 15 X, uh, but you can see it's actually going through and creating all these Azure resources that will show up in our Azure portal. So it made a resource group. It made things inside the resource group, like an analytics workspace, uh, an app service plan, the actual app itself. And the final thing it's making is the Postgres database and the, the VNet and all the rules around that database so that it can communicate with the web app. And that does take a few minutes. But there we go. And now it's ready to actually deploy the code. So this also takes time because it's actually bundling up the code that's on my machine and sending that to the Azure services so that the Azure app service can run that code. So sped this up part, this part up too. <laughs> okay, great. It is done. It shows us the portal URL and the website URL. So we can immediately check to see if it works. So go ahead and open that. <gasps> uh oh, an error. That's just because I clicked it really soon and it's still running the migrations for the app. So I just need to wait a hot second, maybe a minute and come back and ta-da, there we have it, our restaurant review app. It is, seems to be working. Let's test out the database and make sure. We'll do a little adding a restaurant here, fill out a little form and submit it. And there we go, that's submitted successfully. That means that it is communicating with the database. It's able to put a new thing in that Postgres database. Now we could log into the admin, the Django admin, but we need a username and password and we don't have one yet because we need to make a super user. So we're gonna do that using SSH. So this will actually SSH into uh, the container that's running our code. And once we're in this, we can actually run manage.py commands. So I'm gonna type Python manage.py create super user. And that's using the built-in Django manage.py tools. And this is gonna ask me for a username and a password and an email address. So I enter some stuff, remember that in my password manager, and that will be what I need in order to log in to admin for the first time. And once I have logged in, I can you know, actually change my password once I'm in there. But the very first time you're gonna to want to run create super user. Okay, and I am in. So we can see beautiful Django admin automatically created for us so that we can administer all of our tables here. We can do all the CRUD operations. So let's try a little edit to make sure this is working too. So I'll just edit the address of this cafe and save, and then go back to the website and see if it worked. So go back here, click on details, and here we go, there's the edit. So everything worked, all deployed.